Hi, Spartan Jennings here from Lung and Sleep. And today I'm going to explain to you how through one simple manoeuvre you may well be able to save somebody's life if they're unconscious. Now there's a lot of talk about the importance of automatic external defibrillators being available in sports clubs and how they may save the life of someone who's had a cardiac arrest. However, it may not always be available and so if you're in a situation where somebody has fallen unconscious, even if that's in a hospital setting or if it's outside, there's a simple maneuver that you could perform that could potentially save someone's life and would be more important than any other intervention, especially while awaiting medical care or an ambulance. And what that is, is jaw support. And so what I mean by that is that when someone falls unconscious, often what will happen is that their neck and jaw will collapse down and obstruct their airway. Now if I show you that from the side, so if I'm collapsed down and my on my back and my jaw falls down, what will happen is my airway will obstruct. Now if my airway obstructs, then no air can get in or out. Now while I'm conscious or even while I'm asleep, I will be able to protect my airway. And so this happens in people with sleep apnea. When you have sleep apnea, your airway obstructs while you're asleep. But because you're asleep and not completely unconscious, your brain will still wake you up out of sleep to open up your airway. But if you're unconscious for some reason, then that won't happen. So what you need to do is you need to lock your fingers behind the angle of the jaw, just there on the person who's collapsed, hold their jaw and, when they're in this collapsed position, hold their jaw forwards and up. And what that will do is open up their airway and maintain it open so that then they can move, move air in and out. And if they can move air in and out, then they'll maintain their oxygenation and could potentially well and truly save their life. Now I've got a video I'd like to show you on a real life situation where I have a patient who is anesthetized and so they give in an anesthetic and what the anesthetic does is it relaxes all these muscles and so they naturally obstruct their airway. And I'll show you what's happening at the airway level with a camera sitting above the vocal cords to demonstrate what happens when we give simple jaw support. And that'll really demonstrate clearly the importance and how that could save a life. This is now a bronchoscope passing through the nose. This is the nasal cavity. We'll go through the nose just to have a look at the upper airway. Here you can see the anterior and the posterior walls of the upper airway are very close to each other, almost obstructed. And there's the epiglottis in the distance, and the airway is obstructed. Now if we give some jaw support, there we go. The airway opens right up. You can see now that that airway is patent, and the person can breathe easily through an open airway. There we can see the vocal cords in the distance. Once again, we'll just relax the jaw support and you can see again, the airway obstructs, put the jaw support back on and the airway is nice and patent. And there's the vocal cords leading down into the trachea and the airways. So I think that that visual of the upper airway, seeing exactly what happens when you provide jaw support is really helpful. And I think that keeping that in mind will be important if you're ever faced with the unfortunate situation where someone may be unconscious. So keep that in mind and I'll see you later.